Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Dani and today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful Alpes hat this is the double brim version of my just regular Alpes hat and it's this beautiful design, it's super super easy but it's also super warm and perfect for the winter if you live in a country or a place where it's super super cold in the winter this hat is perfect so before we get started I'm gonna just invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button if you haven't done that because that's the way that you are gonna be uh, receiving the notifications every week when I upload a new video and yes if you want to learn how to make this beautiful hat keep watching the video for this project I'm gonna be using one skein of this um, cozy wool yarn by loops and thread and I'm gonna be using the entire skein and it's gonna be just enough for this hat so definitely I would recommend to watch your tension because if you need a little bit loose this skin it's maybe not gonna be enough for you and obviously we want to use just one skin and no more so um, I'm gonna be using an eight millimeter circular needles and also a scissors tapestry needle and this stitch marker which is gonna be to count the rows so to begin I'm gonna leave this uh, yarn and just two meters it's gonna be enough you don't want to leave a longer tail because like I, like I mentioned before you're not gonna have enough yarn to finish the hat so make sure to just leave two meters of that tail and now we're gonna start casting on um, the stitches for this pattern I'm gonna be doing 45 stitches so make sure to do that <laughs> go ahead and cast on your stitches and this is gonna be 45 stitches now we're gonna close and this is the way I like to do it and this is why we make um, 45 because then we're gonna drop one stitch so we are just gonna have 44 and we need an even number So when you're done, place your row counter or your row stitch marker, whatever, and we are gonna start with um, knitting. So we are just gonna knit all the way around. And this is the way I like to do it. So just keep knitting all the way around until you complete this row. Now for the following row we are gonna keep doing the same, knit all the way around and this is row number two. We are gonna keep knitting until we reach row number 28. So this means that we are gonna just have 28 rows of just knitting and this is how we are gonna create the brim. So keep knitting all the way around until you reach your uh, 28 rows. So here I have my 28 rows and like I mentioned before if you want to make your brim a little bit bigger you can go ahead and do that but one skein of this particular yarn is not going to be enough so definitely if you want to use just one skein of yarn do just 28 rows or less if you want um, and in here we are going to start creating the brim down here you can see this is the very first row that we did when we cut when we cast on the stitches and um, you can see these little loops down in here these are the one we are gonna be taking to form the brim so now we're gonna flip this inside don't forget to grab in here the first stitch 
and this is how we are gonna start creating the brim and now we are gonna place this first loop on the needles and while we are closing the brim we are gonna knit that stitch with the stitch that it's coming from the back as you can see in here we grab the second loop in here we place it on the needles and then we knit those two stitches together this is how I like to close my brim obviously there is other ways that you can do this but I personally like this way better and it's very easy for me so if you know other way that it's easier for you you can go ahead and do that so now I'm just gonna keep doing this all the way around until I finish closing my brim if you are a beginner definitely I recommend to you to take your time do it slow and make sure you are doing it properly because you don't want to have little gaps there or missing one stitch so take your time and do it it slow When you finish closing your brim, this is how it should be looking. It should be nice and thick and you should have your 44 stitches. And now we're gonna start with the pattern, which is gonna be knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. And this is gonna be the first row, the last row we did while we were closing the brim. It doesn't count as the row number one. This is gonna be the first one. And I didn't know the name of this stitch before and I believe someone someone said it in the comments that it's called the most stitch so we are gonna just do that and just go ahead and knit all the way around doing knit one and purl one knit one purl one and keep doing this all the way around until you finish row number one For row number two, we are gonna do the same. We are gonna need one, purl one, need one, purl one, the same as row number one. So we are just gonna keep doing this all the way around until we finish row number two. For row number three, we are gonna change and we're gonna switch the stitches. So if before we started with uh, knit, we are gonna purl the first stitch. And then the second it's gonna be knitted and then the following one it's gonna be purled. So basically we are switching the, the stitches and this is how we are gonna do the pattern. It's gonna be two rows in one way and two rows in the other way. So in here, as you can see, I am knitting one and I grab the knitted one when I'm changing the stitches from the back. I don't know, that's just easier for me and that's how I learned how to do it. So if you can do it in whatever way you feel it's better and easier for you. And now for row number four, we are gonna repeat same sequence than row number three. So like I mentioned before, we're going to be doing two rows of one weight and two rows of the other way. And um, when we finish this row, we are going to just keep doing the same pattern all the way up until we reach um, 20 rows. So we have to do 20 rows with this 
uh, moss stitch I believe it's called <laughs> correct me guys if I'm wrong so yes keep doing this all the way around until you reach um, row number 20 So in here I finished my 20 rows and this is how it should be looking. Now we are going to decrease um, in row number 21 and 22. So basically um, decreasing is just knitting two stitches together. And we are going to do this for two rows. Um, some colors of this yarn it's enough for me to decrease for two rows but some of them it's not even enough to decrease um, one extra row so it's because I don't have enough yarn and obviously I just want to use one skein of yarn so if you have enough yarn definitely I will recommend decrease uh, for two rows because that's gonna I think like give a little bit nicer um, look in the hat so just Go ahead and keep doing this all the way around. And in here for row number 22, I still have a little bit of yarn left so I can decrease one more row. So now that I'm done, this is the little bit of yarn left that I have. So you guys can believe me when I, when I said that one skein is just enough for this pattern or for this hat. So now we're going to take the tapestry needle and we are just going to close the hat and just take the stitches that are left in here. And I really, really like uh, doing it this way if you like to be decreasing until the very end, until you have like one stitch left. It's totally up to you, but I just like doing it like this. So now I'm just gonna close my hat and pass the needle through the top and make sure to close it very nice, make a couple knots and then you're gonna be sure that your hat it's nice and secure and it's not gonna be um, opening <laughs> in any way so just make sure that close it very very good and once you're done and this is the final result this is the um, double brim alpes beanie it's super super easy i love the design i love this pattern i know this stitch is very popular but i just wanted to create this beautiful double brim beanie this is a little bit of yarn that i have left and yes in here as you can see i made this hat in every single color and it's just beautiful and super super warm and cozy for this cold winter so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, 
and of course don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you are gonna get the notifications every week when I upload a new video and please don't forget to send me your pictures in social media I have Facebook and Instagram you can find me as CJ design and yes share your pictures over there and don't forget to follow me and I'll see you guys in the next video bye